all digital electronic devices employ switches that perform specific logical operations. These switches, called logic gates, can have anywhere from one to several inputs and, usually, a single output. Logic devices have two states, represented by the digits 0 and 1. The 0 digit is normally called low and the 1 digit is called high. Gates are used in everyday, IEDs, intelligent electronic devices, such as computers, microprocessors, smart house devices, metering and relays just to mention a few. A binary quantity is one that can take on only two states, this is a binary arrangement, a switch in series with a power source and a light. The switch can be open, or closed. The light can be either off, or on. We can now assign a binary number to the switch and the light. For the light, on, equals 1, off equals 0, for the switch, closed equals 1, open equals 0, and in order to analyze these binary arrangements we devise. A truth table. This is a binary arrangement that has, two, switches in series with a power source and a light. Either switch can be, open, or closed. The light will be either, off, or on. As before we can now assign a binary number to the light and the switch. For the light, on, equals 1, off equals 0. For the switches, closed equals 1, open equals 0, and in order to analyze these binary arrangements we devise, a truth table. The two switches form what is known in logic gate terms as, an, and gate, we state its logic in the equation, L, equals S1, and, S2. Here is another binary arrangement with two switches in parallel, which generates this truth table. The two switches form what is known in logic gate terms, as an, or gate. We state it logic in the equation, L equals S1, or, S2. Here is yet another binary arrangement with three switches in series, which generates the truth table. The three switches form what is known in logic gate terms as an, and gate. We state its logic in the equation, L equals S1, and S2, and S3. Here is yet another binary arrangement with three switches, this time in parallel which generates the truth table. The three switches form what is known in logic gate terms, as an, or gate. We state it logic in the equation L equals S1, or, S2, or, S3. Here is yet another binary arrangement with three switches, this time in a combo series, parallel arrangement, which generates the truth table. The logic of these three switches can be described by the equation L equals S1, and, the value of, S2, or, S3. In most solid-state systems, computers etc., the logic is set up in terms of voltage levels. 0 volts equals low, logic level, 0. 5 volts equals high, logic level, 1. If we apply 5 volts to the input of the transistor in this circuit, the transistor is in a state of saturation by virtue of the applied input voltage, 5 volts, through the two-position switch. Because it's saturated, the transistor drops very little voltage between collector and emitter, resulting in an output voltage of, practically, zero volts. If we were using this circuit to represent binary bits, we would say that the input signal is a binary one, and that the output signal is a binary zero. Any voltage close to full supply voltage, measured in reference to ground, of course, is considered a one, and a lack of voltage is considered a zero. Alternative terms for these voltage levels are, high, the same as a binary 1, and low, the same as a binary 0. A general term for the representation of a binary bit by a circuit voltage is, logic level. Moving the switch to the other position, we apply a binary 0 to the input and receive a binary 1 at the output, putting the transistor into cutoff. What we've created here with a single transistor, is a circuit generally known as a solid state logic gate, or simply a gate. A gate is a special type of amplifier circuit, designed to accept and generate voltage signals corresponding to binary 1s and zeros. As such, gates are not intended to be used for amplifying analog signals. Used together, multiple gates may be applied to the task of binary number storage, memory circuits, or, manipulation, computer circuits, each gate's output representing one bit of a multi-bit binary number. Just how this is done is a subject for further study. Right now, it is important to focus on the operation of individual gates. The gate shown here with a single transistor is known as an inverter, or a NOT gate, because its outputs are the exact opposite digital signal as what is input. 
For convenience, gate circuits are generally represented by their own symbols rather than by their circuit diagrams of transistors and resistors. This is the symbol for a NOT gate. Logic gates are the building blocks used to create digital circuits. There are three elementary logic gates, and a range of other simple gates. Each gate has its own logic symbol, which allows complex functions to be represented by a logic diagram. The function of each gate can be represented by a truth table. Rather than drawing out a network of switches and transistors, gate symbols are used in conjunction with their logic truth tables, to symbolize logic functions. This is the symbol for an inverter, or a NOT gate. The logic is described by its truth table, it has one input, and one output. Remember our series switches circuit. We can now represent this system by the standard 2 input, and, gate symbol, with, the same truth table as the 2 series switch version. Remember our 3 series switches circuit. We can now represent this system by the standard, 3 input, and, gate symbol, with, the truth table which is identical to the 3 series switch version. What this truth table means in practical terms is shown in the following sequence of illustrations, with the two input, and gate subjected to all possibilities of input logic levels. A light emitting diode provides a visual indication of the output logic level. For an input of 0 0 the output is 0. For an input of 1 0, the output is 0. For an input of 0 1, the output is 0. For an input of 1 1, the output is 1, red light on. It is only with all inputs raised to a high logic levels that the end gate's output goes high, thus energizing the LED for only one out of the four input combination states. A variation on the idea of the AND gate is called the NAND gate. The word NAND is a verbal contraction of the words NOT AND AND. Essentially, a NAND gate behaves the same as an AND gate with a NOT inverter gate connected to the output terminal. To symbolize this output signal inversion, the NAND gate symbol has a bubble on the output line. The truth table for a NAND gate is as one might expect, exactly opposite as that of an AND gate. As with AND gates, NAND gates are made with more than two inputs. In such cases the same general principle applies. The output will be low, 0, if and only if all inputs are high, 1. If any input is low, 0, the output will go high, 1. Our next gate to investigate is the, or, gate. It can have any number of inputs. For example, this one has two inputs. And this one has three. The truth tables of each are depicted here. This is called an, or gate, because, the output will be low, zero, if and only if all inputs are low, zero. The output will be high, one, if any of the inputs are high, one. The following sequence of illustrations demonstrates the, or gates function, with the two inputs experiencing all possible logic levels. A light emitting diode provides a visual indication of the gates output logic level. For an input of 0 0, the output is 0. For an input of 1 0, the output is 1, red light on. For an input of 0 1, the output is 1, red light on. For an input of 1 1, the output is 1, red light on. A condition of any input being raised to a high logic level makes the OR gate's output go high, thus energizing the LED for three out of the four input combination states. As you might have suspected, there exists an inverted, OR gate, known as the, NOR gate, which is an, OR gate, with its output inverted, just like a NAND gate is an, AND gate, with an inverted output. NOR gates, like all the other multiple input gates seen thus far, can be manufactured with more than two inputs. Still, the same logical principle applies. The output goes low, 0, if any of the inputs are made high, 1. The output is high, 1, only when all inputs are low, 0. Another gated function is the negative, and, gate. The negative and gate, functions the same as an, and gate, with all its inputs inverted, connected through not gates. In keeping with standard gate symbol convention, these inverted inputs are signified by bubbles. Contrary to most people's first instinct, the logical behavior of a negative, AND gate, is not the same as a NAND gate. Its truth table, actually, is identical to a NOR gate. The output goes low, 0, if any of the inputs are made high, 1. 
the output is high, 1, only when all inputs are low, 0. Following the same pattern, a negative, or gate, functions the same as an, or gate with all its inputs inverted. In keeping with standard gate symbol convention, these inverted inputs are signified by bubbles. This function can also be written as these equivalent gate circuits, the behavior and truth table of a negative, or gate, is the same as for a NAND gate. The exclusive, or gate. The last six gate types are all fairly direct variations on three basic functions. AND, OR, and NOT. The exclusive, or gate, however, is something quite different. The exclusive, or gates, output is a high, 1, logic level if the inputs are at different logic levels, either 0 and 1, or 1 and 0. Conversely, the output is a low, 0, logic level if the inputs are at the same logic levels. The exclusive, or gate, sometimes called, an XOR gate, has both a symbol and a truth table pattern that is unique. There are equivalent circuits for an exclusive, or gate, made up of AND, OR, and NOT gates, just as there were for NAND, NOR, and the negative input gates. A rather direct approach to simulating an exclusive, or gate, is to start with a regular, or gate, then add additional gates, that in combinations works like this. If A and B are the same, both ones or both zeros, the both, and gates output will be zero, making the output of the, or gate zero. If A and B are different, 1 and 0, 1 of the 2, and gates, outputs will be 1, making the output of the or gate, 1. Thus the truth table holds true for this combination of gates, meaning we can replace them with the exclusive, or gate. Exclusive, or gates, are very useful for circuits where two or more binary numbers are to be compared bit for bit, and also for error detection, parity checks, and code conversion. Finally, our last gate for analysis is the exclusive NOR gate, otherwise known as the XNOR gate. It is equivalent to an exclusive or gate with an inverted output. The truth table for this gate is exactly opposite as for the exclusive or gate. As indicated by the truth table, the purpose of an exclusive NOR gate is to output a high, one, logic level whenever both inputs are at the same logic levels, either 0, 0 or 1, 1. Also to output a low, zero, logic level if the inputs are different. So, in review, we have an, and gate, output is high only if first input and second input are both high. Or gate, output is high if input A or input B are high. NAND gate, output is not high if both the first input and the second input are high. NOR gate, output is not high if either the first input or the second input are high. A negative, and gate, behaves like A, NOR gate. A negative, or gate, behaves like a non-gate. Exclusive, or gate, output is high if the input logic levels are different. Exclusive, nor gate, output is high if the input logic levels are the same. Gate universality. NAND and, nor gates, possess a special property. They are universal. That is, given enough gates, either type of gate is able to mimic the operation of any other gate type. The ability for a single gate type to be able to mimic any other gate type is one enjoyed only by the NAND and the NOR. In fact, digital control systems have been designed around nothing but either NAND or NOR gates, all the necessary logic functions being derived from collections of interconnected NANDs or NORs. Let's have a look at this universality and see how all the basic gate types may be formed. Using only NANDs or only NORs. As you can see, there are two ways to use a NAND gate as an inverter, and two ways to use a, NOR gate, as an inverter. Constructing the AND function. To make the AND function from NAND gates, all that is needed is an inverter, a NOT, on the output of a NAND gate. This extra inversion cancels out the first N in NAND, leaving the AND function. It takes a little more work to wrestle the same functionality out of NOR gates, but it can be done by running all of the inputs to a NOR gate, through NOT gates, which are, NOR gates made to function as NOT gates. We can construct the NAND function, using NOR gates. To make a NOR gate perform the NAND function, we must invert all inputs to the NOR gate, as well as the NOR gate's output. Constructing the OR function. Inverting the output of a NOR gate, with another NOR gate connected as an inverter, 
results in the OR function. The NAND gate, on the other hand, requires inversion of all inputs to mimic the OR function, just as we needed to invert all inputs of a NOR gate to obtain the AND function. Remember that inversion of all inputs to a gate results in changing the gate's essential function from AND to OR, or vice versa, plus an inverted output. Thus, with all inputs inverted, a NAND behaves as an OR. A NOR behaves as an AND. An and behaves as a nor, and an or behaves as a nand. Constructing the nor function. Much the same as the procedure for making a nor gate behave as a nand, we must invert all inputs and the output to make a nand gate function as a nor. This information, as well as other related electrical blogs, may be found on my website at https colon forward slash forward slash www dot getpspt.com. There you also have access to my courses, which are continuously being added to, and at the present time include the following.